In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add up the Brazilian Real here in front of our white label ticks. So let's try to explore how to do this. So how can we add the Brazilian Real currency in Chart.js? First of all, we need to go here to this specific link, chartjs 3com getting started, or this link here. Just uh, this link you can find as well in the description box. So once you once you're on this website. Scroll down here and copy this chunk of code because we're going to grab our boiler template. So let's copy all of this. And if you want to understand this code, please watch this video here that explains it all. Paste it in there and then I'll just cut out this title and put that in here. Paste, save, refresh. There we are. So now what I want to do is I want to maximize the size. Just make this 80%. Save, refresh. There we are. So how can we put this currency symbol here or the Brazilian Heyao currency symbol here? So to do this, we're going to scroll down because Chart.js allows a built-in functionality for this, which is absolutely phenomenal. So what we're going to do is on the Y scale, because I want to pinpoint basically the ticks on the Y scale here with the currency. So I'm going to say here, after begin at zero, comma, and then we're going to say here, ticks and I realized I'm going ahead of myself because we need to add one more thing just before here, uh, before the just after the options, which is we're going to say local, and then we're going to say here BR for Brazilian language and then BR for the Brazilian currency Heyal. So we have this. This is very important, indicating because you can do here as well English. So you have the English format. But then with the Brazilian currency symbol. So we have this, or at least we're going to indicate this is very important. So everything else will be focused along with that because you have sometimes these decimal points on certain items or how they present the numbers. Local will trigger everything, but you also want to do it in the scale itself, specifically on the ticks. So what I'm going to do here now is callback. And then I'm going to put a callback here. We're going to use the value, the index. And we have the values and basically here call it functionality. So we're going to say here a function error expression. And this is the really the one that we want. If I do a console wall on this, you will see what we get. And if we refresh, open up this. Oh, all right. Uh, of course, make sure you have a comma here or else you get an error like this. There we are. Now, of course, you can see here it doesn't show the tick or the grid lines but you do see the numbers here and these are the numbers that are important because it recognizes this and of course you might say why is it showing multiple times here well basically uh, there's uh, probably some animation going around in that so it will reload it multiple times in the beginning anyway doesn't matter so much it will show properly next what we want to do here is because we're not done here we only say here the console log but we want to return the value but to return this if I just only do return new, or sorry, return, it will show here everything and then we'll work fine. If I save that, refresh, there we are. However, there is no currency yet. So let's start to work on that. We're going to say here, on the return, but what are we going to return now? Is we're going to say new, and I'm going to say international structure or numbers. So we're going to say number format, specifically on the scale. And then what we're going to say here, we can say here the BR, for the Brazilian language, and then we're going to say here the BR, which will be eventually the Brazilian currency. That's the first one. Then we put a comma here, and then we have this here. Basically, we have an object, and in this object, I'm going to say here what I want to add additional is the currency. So Charges understands these commands, these are built in, and then we're going to say here because now we have the currency object, we can put it in here as well. And we're going to select now the currency that we want. And that's BRL, it's three uh, characters, that's very important. So once we have this, put a comma here, and then uh, now we allow here the uh, Brazilian re uh, real. And then what we want to do here, maybe you can say a maximum significant, uh, significant digits, along three digits at a time, that will be the most important one. Once we did this, we are closing this here again, but then we say a dot format. And what I want to format is this value, what I showed you previously. So instead of showing these numbers, I want to add as well these currency symbols 
that I specified, or the specific currency symbol, in this case the Brazilian Heiyang. So now if I save this, set my account here, save, refresh, and now you can see here we have here the Brazilian Heiyang being shown here in front of our ticks. Absolutely phenomenal. And that's how we can add up. So if you enjoyed this and maybe you want to do some other items, for example, you want to understand how we can format it even more specifically, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this here on how to format the numbers in the Y scale in charges, where you can see we can format these depending on the country where you are in, they have a different way of presenting digits and numbers. So in that case, watch this video here to uh, format these numbering structures.